The wind is blowing here at the 1,000 metre mark at the final of the men's coxless pair in the opening regatta of the 2005 Bearing Point Rowing World Cup Series. Great Britain's Josh West and Kieran West in lane at number four, struggling really. They got up quick in the first five. In the second 500 metres, they're just struggling with the pace. Skillin brothers from Croatia, there they are in lane at number six, have pretty much led this from uh, start through to this point here into the third 500 metres. But they are being chased hard by the Canadian second boat. They had a pretty spirited second 500 metres. There's the Canadian second boat in lane number three. Going to give you a lane order now in this uh, third 500 metres. Up in the top, although way out of your picture, just shows the conditions here at China in lane one. In lane two, there's an Egyptian crew. They too have been dropped out of the pace. Canada two in lane at number three. Great Britain's Josh West and Kieran West in four. Canada one in five and Croatia. There they are powering on now down towards the finishing line in lane number six. And there you can see the span of the crews down. And again, they, they changed this just minutes before the regatta started today. They changed the lane order to, to deal with the uh, conditions here. It's still not quite working because you can see the pan of the crews. But you see how fast that the, uh, the Skinny brothers, who we're seeing here now, how fast they moved in the middle thousand. They, the Canadians were there neck and neck with them only about three minutes ago. Just in the last three minutes, Croatia has just moved right out to three lengths ahead. Just to the left of your pitcher, just out of shot, the yellow boat there, that was a quick shot of Great Britain. 1,500 metres down, now 500 to go. Croatia, who have led from the uh, first stroke, the Skillin brothers, the Olympic silver medalists from uh, um, Athens last year, looking very, very strong. And in this opening, it's early stages. They've all had a long session, a long series of winter training here, but they're looking pretty sharp in this first regatta. You see back there in the battle for the, uh, between the Canadians, Canada 2 has now moved ahead, ahead of Canada 1. So it was a, a, a real dial, a do or die effort from the Canadian uh, second, uh, second boat that went out in front. And here now come the Canadians pushing right through them. This is the battle here you can see in lane at number five, the white boat, Barney Williams and Scott Franson. Barney Williams, the Olympic silver medalist, on the right of your pitcher there in the bow seat from the men's coxless fall. Scott Franson on the left there. And the two guys uh, top of him in the other Canadian crew, they were all in the men's eight that came fifth last year in the Olympic final, coached by Mike Sprackling. And this really is a stroke-for-stroke -stroke battle here now. And again, these guys are going to be looking for selection, whether it's in the Coxless pair or they'll all join together in the Coxless four later on in the season for the World Finals or for the World Championships in uh, Japan later remains to be seen. But out front, lane number six, closest to us, the Skillin brothers, the power of the Skillin brothers now. But we're looking at the real battle there for the silver medal. The Skinning brothers can just look back and watch this developing here. And Great Britain in the yellow boat starting to push on to see if they can get into the bronze medal position. It's clear, it's clean, it's fast from the Skilling brothers from Croatia. It's comfortable, but out front, they are smooth and they're over the line. And the push now is between the two Canadian crews. The top there, Rutledge and Hamilton just pushing out Franson and Williams. And Great Britain's uh, Kieran West and Josh West coming in in fourth place. But there's no doubt who is the form crew in the opening series here, the Skilling brothers from Croatia.